Time Keepers. That sounds like an archaeology TV show where people go to dig sites. Oh, it's on the that I sci-fi channel. Definitely watched as a kid from like BBC or something. But no, uh, Grand Time Adventures. What on earth could these be? Because several now NPCs have been added to the uh, Alpha Creatures database, and they're aligned with a faction called the Timekeepers. And oh, God. oh dear. So we've got Sias Razel, Sazerathel, Sazerathel, uh, and okay. Um, let's let's go through it slowly. And Ant or Normu, and Ant and Normu, and Ant and Normu. Yep. And thankfully, it went easiest in the third one. Time Walker Warden. Yep. Is that, is that the, like, given name, Warden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, my name. Hello, my name is Warden. You won't be, believe what my job is. So the Timekeepers are a group. Oh, the Time Walkers. Is this from... Okay, right. Well, let's, let's have a little read here. The Timekeepers were formed from the Keepers of Time after the Bronze Aspects lost their powers. Their ranks are made up of both mortals and bronze dragons, and their task is to protect the timeways in absence of the Aspects. So, earlier, right, previous streams, we talked about the uh, Grand Time Adventure maps, which, like, they had a, a weird, the Murloc version of the world, uh, the um, Black Empire, so it's way back in the Old God days, the Pandaren Revolution, Pretty damn cool moments from WoW's lore, as well as a, a fun, wacky timeline with the Morlocks, I suppose. And we started wondering, like, what are these grand, grand time adventures? Well, perhaps they could be something to do with the Timekeeper's uh, faction. And then that's interesting, because uh, the scribes have their contracts. You know the contracts that give you bonus XP when you do a world quest with a given faction? And these guys are not on it. But it does make you think, oh, wait. What if there is going to be a faction that does not tie at all into the world quest system? Which obviously, to somebody like me, would be fantastic news. Yes. So, who knows? I mean, the deaths are chromy. I love that when it came out. It's really funny, like most people, I did loads of, like, I, I did it in the PTR. I didn't do it in live because I'd already <laughs> done it because it was just, you know, you intrinsically do it for the fun. So I should really cap it off in my live account. But the deaths of chromy, seriously, is... Just one of those bits of, of game design that's, like, really neat. They have a very limited set of tools with the Deaths of Chromie in that they give you a talent tree. They can teleport you to locations they've made before. They have a small amount of WoW combat and then a little bit of puzzle solving. And by just, honestly, good old-fashioned game design, they were able to turn that into a really, really fun little uh, scenario. Now, you can just get a guide for it and do it that way. But if you actually try to think about using your different runs through the time loop and using the information you've gained from all of them together, you can work it out for yourself. That's how I initially was doing that on the PTR, and it was an extremely satisfying thing. So I just think this is cool. Yeah, no, the Death of Chromie, I think I'm pretty almost happy to go on record and say it's the best bit of content that's ever been put into World of Warcraft. From a game design perspective, it is fucking exceptional. Here's a, something. Here's some fun speculation, I, I guess, that Dakor found. It's believed that Khadgar might be a member of the Time Walkers because when he fought the spirit of Kairos on A.U. Draenor, he used a spell called Call of the Time Walker. Interesting. Now, that is interesting. And, I mean, Time Walker, what do they do? They Time Walk. So they are Time Walking, hmm. which can take us to Blizzard saying that outdoor Time Walking is something that they can do. But what they need is a reason to do it. Now, as much as this could tie into the Grand Time Adventure, what if the Infinite Dragons get set up as a like a micro threat or something that we just kind of always have to deal with? And then we have a fun little situation where Blizzard can just do time walking world content, where they can build content in those old zones where it just involves us thwarting the Infinite Dragonflight. I think it'd be neat. Yeah, if, I mean, if they make it fun, of course. But hey, a new faction, some new shit to do. Like generally, it's a, a solid enough winner for a MMO. For an MMO. Yeah, that's the thing I like about the time stuff. You can never truly end a time threat. Yeah, so that would be a way <laughs> for them to just be evergreen. Yeah. Instead of always having to go back in time, mm. right? To so your character is doing an old rep, as if that threat still existed, but it doesn't. Whereas this could be set up as an ongoing thing. Yep, absolutely.